Hello our friends. Before we go outside to the garden and before we unbox the very first seeds of the following season, next season, I wanted to let you guys know that number one, you guys have been asking if I'm going to be selling a wall calendar again this year. And yes, I just opened pre-orders last night on my website. I am selling a wall calendar and these are made up of images that I have taken at my farm. Some of them are never before seen images. So if you follow along on Instagram and Facebook, I do post a lot of photos of my flowers, but some of these are never before seen images. I'm very excited about the calendar. It is in print right now. It will be shipping in mid to late November. I also have a local pickup option. So if you're local to me, you'll be able to pick them up later on this fall at the nursery. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys are interested, the link to go ahead and order a wall calendar. And guys, I am shipping around the world. I'm shipping to Canada and I'm shipping internationally as well as the United States. And number two, today is Brad Pitt's birthday. So happy birthday to my husband, Brad. Uh, I honestly, he is my rock and Flower Hill Farm would not exist if it were not for him. So happy birthday, Brad. And that's all, I just had to get those two things out of the way before we headed outside to harvest. Hi, flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am carrying my wagon over to the veggie garden. Let's go inside the garden, harvest as much Hubbard squash as I can. And then my first box of seeds for next year came in the mail. It's a combination of veggies and flowers and I thought we'd open them up together we have ooh, a rose that's blooming but I did get frost that did you know give some damage here to the cucumelon vines but look the cucumelons themselves um, they're still great and then uh, obviously the rest of the garden uh, that's the basil black the peppers a little bit of uh, frost damage but uh, the squash needs to be picked the eggplant plants were hit with the frost but I still have some actual fruit that are still growing so I'm gonna let that get a little bigger this is where they were growing but look way over here there's even one on my melon trellis oh, look at that, one. that one's got a little bit of bug damage I'll make sure to use that one uh, right away and that's part of the reason why I'm coming out here and getting these because um, they are starting to get some damage Oh, that one's big. Oh my gosh, that one's cool looking. Okay, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's smaller. I don't know. I probably should grab it since it's not, like it's not even <laughs> attached to anything. All right, I'm gonna grab it. Okay, these are the ones that were inside the fence. I know there are some growing on the outside of the fence. Ooh, the wind's picking up. And the sun's finally coming out. It's supposed to rain for most of the day. This is the outside of the deer fence that we haven't really done much to this year. And I see a bunch. There's, there's one hanging <laughs> right here. Let's see, I see one here. Oh wow, that one's huge. Oh, okay, all right. There it is. Dangling from, oh, the fence. Oh gosh, this one's tough. There's that one. It refused to let go of its umbilical cord. That is a nice beauty. All right, let me get this. There we go, okay. Freedom. Wow, that's awesome. I'm excited. I'm really happy with this. Now, I have never cooked Hubbard squash before. If you guys have any favorite recipes, drop them in the comments. I'm really excited to try this out. I know my sister wants one, my in-laws want one. So these are not gonna go to waste and I might even sell a few at the nursery this weekend. Okay, we're back inside and now I want to, I'm so excited, in fact, I'm so excited I already opened one. <laughs> Woo, this one came in first. I have three different packages to unbox. Now, these are flowers and vegetable seeds for both the nursery and for my farm. And guys, this is not all of the orders that I have placed. Actually, my, my really big flower order has, I believe they called me yesterday and said that they were shipping. So that's on the way. This first, it's such a dreary day, by the way. I, I tried to get as much light in here as possible, but it has been raining here for three days. So this is from the Seed Savers Exchange. 
And it looks like this is a whole bunch of uh, vegetable seeds. So we have, I'll go through these quickly. We have kale, blue curled kale. We have a bush cucumber. And then we have natapeno peppers, guys. These are the ones that look like a jalapeno but don't have any spice to them or a lot less spice. I've got three packages of these. This is for me to grow and sell at the nursery. I think people are interested in growing these. And then I have a very large packet of mortgage lifter tomatoes. People are really loving these. This was one of my big items that I sold at my seedling sale. And obviously my seedling sale is multiplying times, I would say times 500. I'm going from, you know, 40 to 50 customers to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers that have been buying all of their stuff at this nursery for decades. So I'm trying to be prepared when it comes to that. King of the North pepper, guys. King of the North pepper. This is the bell pepper that is growing best for me up here in the Northeast. I'm in upstate New York. I bought two packages of King of the North pepper and my mother-in-law has already claimed 15 of them. She's like, I'd like 15 King of the North peppers. You got it. So I ordered a thousand of those seeds. So that is from Seed Savers Exchange. And guys, I did save, a lot of you guys asked, do you save any of your seeds? I did save seeds. In fact, oh, right here, these are King of the North peppers that I saved when I made stuffed peppers the other day. I saved these peppers and I followed just a tutorial video on YouTube and uh, just super simple, dried them and um, hopefully they'll germinate. I am gonna do a germination test on them, I think. That would be fun to just put some in the soil and see if anything pops up. King of the North peppers and I also saved long hots. Look at the number of long hots. I'm excited to do some germination tests on the peppers that I saved. Now we have magic from Florette. I just ordered a couple things, guys. I couldn't help myself. How do I? I'm just tearing the top off. Okay. We have a few things that I could not. Um, oh, she always does the most cutest little things. She's, this is inside here. We have um, a postcard, a beautiful postcard. It's blank. And thank you, Erin. That is beautiful. And here is my invoice. I picked up one, two, three, four, five things. Um, so not a lot out of this package. But what I did was four different kinds of crests. Crests was a huge filler for me this spring. I used it in so many of my bouquets. She has four different varieties on her website and I picked up all four. This is a Traxa. This is a vigorous, easy to grow filler with tall stems. We have, this one is emerald beads. I've actually never grown any of these varieties. This one is typically marketed as a salad green, but it will go to create these tiny textural beads. That's what I love about crests. And now this one is called Green Dragon. And I'll show you guys the images from Florette's website. And this one's called Penny Crest. Penny Crest is a, a common one. I've actually never grown this one. Gina has. It's similar to the crest I used and grow this year, but it's a little bit bigger when it comes to the seed pods. And then, the Iceland Poppy Sherbet mix. Yeah, I'm excited about that. My poppies did really well this year. I only grew a four foot patch of them and I had hundreds of stems. So next year I'd like to do even more. And now that I'll have two hoop houses in the spring, I will be able to do more. This one's from Johnny's. It's Johnny's. All right, this is a pretty big order. Uh, again, it's mixed with vegetables and flowers. Alrighty, let me just get the bag. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, geez. Now, I did a little bit of a post on my Facebook page. This is heavy. I love it. And I asked people what they were looking for when it came to vegetables. And a lot of these are different things that you wouldn't normally see at a nursery. Uh, maybe your nursery does stuff like this, but I tried to get thing, I tried to order things that would be kind of unique. Holy guacamole. <laughs> this is a pound of peas. I'm excited about these. 
So these are avalanche snow peas, and I plan on divvying these up into packets and selling the pea seeds at the nursery uh, because that's what people are looking for. And then I also have a half pound of sugar snap peas to do the same thing. And then I also have a big old thing of bush provider beans. So these are the huge things that I will divvy up for people to buy, but also people buy pre-started six packs of, of beans to each their own. So I will do some of those. Yeah, so this is a lot of peas. I might try to grow some of these in the hoop house. Well, let's take a look at what else. Okay, there's a lot more in here. Okay. Here I have slicing cucumbers. This is the Market More 76. We have delicata squash. I have a lot of customers who've been asking for delicata seedlings, so I will give it to them. This is a yellow summer squash. This is just a typical, it's not the crook neck, but it's the slick pick yellow summer squash. Green machine, believe it or not guys, this was actually one of the more expensive seeds, the zucchini. Who knew? But this is a hybrid zucchini called the Green Machine. It's less apt to um, pests and diseases. Zucchini is obviously one of the most popular vegetables that people grow on their own. Over here, I have sugar baby watermelons. Watermelons, also something that people will be looking for when it comes to vegetable seedlings. Who do we have here? Oh, Magda. I believe this is uh, the green, like the very pale green zucchini, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and these are all for starting um, for the seedlings. Woo. There, here are some more vegetables. Hot paper lantern peppers. So these are hot peppers. This is also another poblano. It's a barren hot pepper. Ooh, we have some, this is a thing of flowers. I'm gonna put it down. Cherokee purple tomatoes. Always a hit, flowers. El Jefe, jalapeno peppers. <laughs> More zucchini, this one is that safari zucchini that I grew this year that was awesome. I brought it to the farmer's market a couple of weeks and everyone wanted it. It's just so unique looking with the stripes. Patty pan summer squash, this one's called Jaune et Verte. It's a beautiful light green color. We have pickling cucumbers. And we also have carnival squash. Carnival squash is another huge hit around here for people to grow on, the, on their own. And this is another packet of green machine for the nursery. And then we have down here, I have a Nadia eggplant. People love to grow their own eggplants. Mine did really well this year. Two packets of the Nadia eggplant. And let's see, sun gold cherry tomatoes. I wasn't a fan of these when I grew them, but so many people say it's their favorite. So we have some of those. And then Black Magic Kale, that's a good one. Oh, Anaheim Charger Hot Peppers, which is the Long Hots, definitely uh, loving those. Gold Mine, which is the yellow zucchini. It's a yellow striped zucchini. I grew that this year, it was delicious. Yellow Brandywine Tomatoes, wanted to offer a couple different color of tomatoes. And then I have Super Sweet 100s. There's a thousand seeds here. San Marzano, needed to get San Marzano tomatoes. They're gonna to be hugely popular. This is a hot pepper called Caparino. Caparino. Okay, I think the rest of these are flowers. So let's take a look. We have a Nature Mulberry Shades Hybrid Viola. Gonna try these out. These are gonna be beautiful. Short-lived perennial, best grown as an annual. I'll try this in early spring. I have apricot peach sun straw flowers. I have, uh, oh, Sweet Annie. I ran out of Sweet Annie this year. This is another Viola. It's called Frizzle Sizzle Mini Tapestry. I'm gonna try this in, um, in little six packs and stuff for the nursery, the Violas. Another straw flower, this is called King Size Raspberry Rose. It was out of the white, so this is a double white stock. I also ordered more stock seeds from another company, so they will come in. And the last packet I have here is creamy white straw flower. So that's what I have here. This is a lot of the vegetables that I'll be starting for the nursery for 
all of the vegetable seedlings. And obviously we have some straw flowers and viola. I've never grown viola from seed before. I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and organize these in my bins, the ones that I use to manage and keep track of my seeds. If you guys remember, I'm looking for Hubbard squash recipes and I'm also looking for other flowers that you think I should start and sell in four and six packs in the spring in the nursery because I'm putting all my orders in right now. All of my seed orders are going in right now. Uh, you get an early order discount if you order by the end of September on a lot of these sites. So yeah, lots going on. I'm actually having a hard time wrapping my brain around all of the product that I have to order in for the nursery because it's not like it's something, um, yes, it's under new ownership, but it's been so established there for such a long time that there is a certain expectation, I think, of product that should be there. I guess I'm just putting a lot of pressure on myself to um, make it amazing. So whew, it's okay though. Happy birthday again to Brad. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I tripped on the squash. <laughs> Embarrassing. Come baby, yes. I have the cadmium and she likes it a lot. Baby. Over. I truly am Mother Hubbard.